Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. Um, this time I'm looking at a 48k Spectrum. Um, all I'm going to do with this is the uh, composite mod. I had a look at this, it works, it's, it just gives a fuzzy picture, same as all the Spectrum Pluses I looked at. So I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Um, you can see it just needs gluing down a bit here. Um, not sure how easy that's going to be because you, sometimes you've got to bend the bloody things to get them off to re stick them back down again. Um, but it's in immaculate condition really. There's a bit of the silver sort of just worn away on the very uh, edge of the Z there. Just, a little bit on the uh, P of uh, the spectrum, um, but the color, you know, there's no scratches on this. Um, the colors are all good on the button, you know, all the prints and stuff on the buttons themselves. It's all really good, um, excellent condition, really. Just needs a bit of a clean up. Um, you can see this has been serviced before in the past. Um, very interesting, speakeasy CBTV warranty void if removed. So we'll be removing that and voiding the warranty. <laughs> um, yeah, it's in really good condition, please with this. I might keep this one myself. It's got a couple of rubber feet missing off the bottom there. Um, I've got another one that's... Uh, might just nick the feet from that one, stick them on this one, actually. Uh, might end up keeping this one myself, I'm not sure. Um, or I might sell it. Not not really decided yet. But anyway, we'll just whip the lid off. So, obviously, any time we've got stickers, going to screw under there. Uh, screw there, screw there. Uh, one there. And one there. So, yeah, it looks like there's five, I think. Very interesting, I thought I'd just show this. Um, Mr. Colin Lander, service manager, Speakeasy CB. Um, there you go, piece of history for you. Some corrosion on that um, nut there. Looks pretty clean. Interesting mod here, not sure if this is, I don't know, factory mod, I guess it probably would be. Uh, you can see this, this transistor floating across the uh, Z80 there. Really strange. Wonder what the wonder what was done to this previously. I guess we'll be able to tell when I get the board out. Um, I never noticed pot, all these pots before. Certainly not on the plus models I've looked at. Maybe that's uh, something on the older revisions. I've got no idea. Can you see it? Very interesting. Um, but one thing you'll notice has just happened when I pull the keyboard connectors off. Both of these, the ribbons have just they've sheared off. Stuck, they're a bit stuck in there. It's happened with both of them. Look, give a state of that. That one's just cracked there, and the end has just come straight off that one. So, oh, I need a bloody new keyboard thing for this now. Um, not a problem. They're not, not as expensive for the 48Ks, so I'll get one of those ordered. Um, I think I need one for the other. The other 48k spectrum I've got anyway, so I'll perhaps order a couple while I'm at it. Um, but this board looks mega clean. This is one of the cleanest I've seen, really. Um, anyway, we just get that single screw out there and just uh, pull the board out and have a look. So yeah, pretty clean underneath. Uh, it looks like one of the newer revisions. This again, it's although the, I don't know the top side looks kind of like baker like ish sort of, you know, the really old versions. But the bottom, the underneath is like got this green. Uh, solder mask on it. Very interesting. Can't see any components replaced there. Um, if I'm honest, it's interesting to have that warranty thing on it. I wonder if someone's just maybe put that on there because they've sold it. I don't know. You know, maybe they sold, took units in second hand and sold and tested it, made sure it was all right and sold it. Unless they were responsible for this mod here. No idea. This is, what's that? A ZTX. 313. Hmm. Got some interesting tape or something here on this. What the hell is that all about? Maybe it has had a fault. Maybe it's had a fault on the. Uh, no, it doesn't look. Doesn't look like anyone's uh, interfered with that in the past. It looks factory done. Anyway, so uh, I'll just do the composite mod, just like they did on the plus videos. You know chop the 5 volt input there and then reroute this composite into the output the center pin of the uh, you know that point there so just looking at the 40 other 48k spectrum here now um, it's the same issue um, needs a new keyboard membrane um, so same thing composite mod to this one um, then I'll just give this uh, 
quick test without the keyboard. I've ordered a couple more keyboard membranes, so um, in a minute um, I will hopefully have received those. Um, can fit them and test these two spectrums out. The other one, um, once I've done the composite mod, um, I'll show you. I'll show you later in the video. But the two variable resistors, which were positioned sort of around here, um, had to be just slightly adjusted, a tiny, 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 tiny bit. Uh, I mean, you know, sort of a notch cock, a really, really small amount. Um, in order to bring the colour back in because it was a bit dull the picture it was like a really really dark grey instead of a slightly lighter grey as it should be um, but I'll show you that anyway because I'm going to need to tweak that I think once the keyboard uh, overlay arrives I want to reassemble and test that one there we go, so another one composite modded uh, you can reverse that really easy, that's the way I leave these uh, as you can see it looks pretty clear on screen there so just wearing this keyboard membrane for this one as well and uh, then we're done so here we go, I've received the new keyboard membranes, you can see um, they're manufactured completely differently um, well maybe it's the same process, I don't know, but they're certainly brand new um, unused and stuff, look like they've perhaps been tested you can tell from the connections there, so that's good um, so I'll get these in here um, and you can see, uh, here's the old ones I might state these um, and these metal covers. Um, this one, I had to get like a rolling pin onto it and try and straighten it out and just, you know, try and bend it slightly like that to get it back into shape. Um, it's in very good condition, there's just a bit of black uh, paint scratched off here. And I think what I'll do with that is get some black and a little bit there, get some black, I've got some black enamel, uh, acrylic, sorry, black uh, acrylic. Um, and I'll just very, very, very carefully touch, touch up those tiny little bits of uh, where you can see the aluminium or whatever it is underneath. Um, but well, that's pretty straight, this one was very straight but when it came off there was some glue at the bottom and it's just uh, detached a tiny tiny bit there so I'll do the same thing with that tiny tiny bit of uh, black acrylic paint uh, but I think it should go on nicely once we get the uh, new membrane in there so one minor issue here and I don't know how well this is going to come out because it's transparent but if you look, sorry I moved that off the shot there this is now lined up with the edge here and this one goes over by about half a millimetre, quarter of a millimetre what I need to do is cut off a tiny tiny bit of this clear plastic on both sides right next to the connectors there because there's no way, it's, it's too wide um, the smaller one is okay so just quickly testing here now without the rubber part on um, if I press the keys you can see uh, and one, two, three, four. Yeah, so that's working fine. Sweet. It's pretty hard to test it actually without the rubber bit on because I've got to keep looking at the keyboard uh, as I press the key uh, and away from the screen and the camera. Um, seems to work anyway. So, in fact, we'll just put this back on. Here now, I can just sit that over there, just make it slightly easier to test this. Yeah, that's working really great. So I've washed these rubber um, keys in the sink, took them out and completely scrubbed them down. Um, they're pretty clean, um, there's still a bit of residue on there, they're very difficult to do. The last thing you want to do really is get a scrubbing brush onto these and scrub the surfaces of the keys off, you know, um, the print. Um, so you've got to be careful when you clean them up. Um, what I'm going to do now is just get some double-sided tape um, on the backs of these. Um, you know, there is tape on there. You could scrape it off. To be honest, it's um, I might damage it doing that. So um, I'll just tape over the top of these. Um, see how I get on with that. I can always just carefully pull it off again, re-tape them. Right. So this one's all cleaned up now. Uh, you can see looking pretty good um, still needs a little bit of a wipe I'll give it a, a wipe just before um, I package this off and it needs a bit of uh, the black acrylic paint there but as you can see it's come out really well I'll put the screws back in this one because this one works fine I've tested this on the Div IDE um, now this one is not loading quite a lot of 48k games it loads 16k games so um, I thought well, okay well, let's just, just power it back on um, and I'll show you this if I as soon as I connect the power uh, I'll try and do this so that you can see it on the screen. Um, 
if you watch the screen there, watch when it first comes on, watch how long it takes for the black screen. That's a very short, that's a very short black screen there. Being, yeah, it should be twice as long as that at least. Um, and that indicates to me that the first 16K, well it's been detected as 16K, um, the second, um, you know, 32K, um, is at fault somewhere, so I'm going to need to investigate further on this. Um, for the moment I've put RAM, I'm not loading games, and uh, I've needed some screws for this one as well because the screws are missing. It does say 48K, and it's definitely got 48K uh, worth of chips on the board, it's just not uh, working as a 48K. So that will be uh, a subsequent repair, I'm not going to cover it on this video. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.